We're going on the longest cruise that we have taken in over five years. And this cruise has been on my bucket list for probably over a decade. However, recently we did have some unexpected bad and good news. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifeballcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Do you know, I woke up this morning to snow. Yes, I am filming this video at the very end of October and there was snow and rain in Montreal. So I cannot wait to go on my next cruise. I actually feel like I'm born for that hot weather. I will share with you exactly what that cruise is. I am very excited. And I'll also share with you a couple of updates and challenges that are coming up. Oh, and by the way, I also have some updates and some news about our last cruise, and I would love to have your feedback. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, so before we talk about our upcoming cruise, let's talk about my last cruise. I don't think that the two destinations or itineraries could be more different. The last cruise that we took was in late September, early October, a Canada, New England cruise on board Norwegian Pearl. We had an absolutely wonderful time. We were so lucky with the weather and honestly really did enjoy it. But I don't wanna tell you too much because I have a lot of the different information in two upcoming videos. So coming this Friday, so in two days, I will have a video about Norwegian Pearl, a ship tour, as well as some tips and tricks and honestly, some hidden gems. I did try to tuck in some extra information into that video. So please do watch that. And as well, I do have a video coming out on the Norwegian Cruise Line channel with a balcony cabin tour that is detailed and includes all of the tips and tricks that we were able to use in this cabin. I would love it if you would check out that video and as well, even if you're not going on Norwegian Pearl, if you're going on one of the sister ships or even on one of the newer ships, leave me any questions that you have about Norwegian Cruise Line, the food, the cabins, etc. Leave all of that in the comments below and I will try my best to answer. I do have some new Norwegian Cruise Line videos planned, so your comments are going to be super helpful. Now, moving on to our upcoming cruise, we planned this cruise early in the summertime and when we saw the date we just thought oh that really works and we absolutely loved the itinerary and there is some bad news when it came to the itinerary and i'm sure it's probably happened to you or if it hasn't happened to you yet it will happen to you in the future so what is the cruise we're going on a panama canal cruise I can't wait, truly. This has been on my bucket list since my kids were little, but because we were always cruising around the Christmas holidays when they were out of school, they just never had Panama Canal cruises during that time. And now we have a little bit more flexibility, so we are finally able to do that. So we are going to be sailing on Holland America's Rotterdam. I really like the Pinnacle class cruise ships. I've been on the Staten Dam, and I've also been on the Konings Dam in Alaska and I'm really looking forward to it. Now I should mention we booked this cruise on our own, so we are not hosted. This is not a press trip. This is just a cruise that we really wanted to do. However, after we booked it, what happened was unfortunately the itinerary changed a little bit and the itinerary changed after final payment. Now, would I have canceled the cruise because of it? No, I don't really think so. But basically what our itinerary was supposed to be and this is our original itinerary that I had printed out, was we were supposed to go to Key West, and I love Key West. I haven't been to Key West since, well, Ethan was two, so that's 21 years ago. I really wanted to be able to go back. It's such a far drive from Fort Lauderdale, so that was a good way for me to go. And of course, many cruise ships just aren't going there anymore. I'm not sure if that's why. Anyway, but instead now we are going to Montego Bay and it's a shorter day. I don't know if you've been to Montego Bay before. I haven't been to Montego Bay since I was 17 years old on a college trip. It has been a long time, but I don't know. I don't even have any plans for the day, but I might end up booking an excursion. If you've been to Montego Bay, and if you know if there's something that's just close by to the port that I can do, please let me know down in the comments below. 
So here's the full itinerary in case you are interested. The cruise starts in Fort Lauderdale and also ends in Fort Lauderdale. We are going to be going to Half Moon Cay, Bahamas. We've got a couple of sea days before we get to Aruba. I cannot wait. I love Aruba. We have a sea day, then we're in Cartagena, Colombia. Then we enter the Panama Canal. We go through Guten Lake. And of course, we also exit through Cristobal. We are in Cologne, Panama. Then we have a day in Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. So excited to be in Costa Rica. A sea day, Montego Bay. Another sea day before we get back to Fort Lauderdale 12 days later. Now I do have a little bit of a challenge and I also have some really, really good news. I almost didn't ever think that this would happen to us, but it's some really good news. So first the challenge, it is packing. So maybe a lot of you have the same concerns when it comes to longer cruises. So that is what we're dealing with. It's a 12 day cruise. And while I don't plan to pack carry on only, I also don't plan to overpack too much. Plus we're going in to Fort Lauderdale two days before. So I'm gonna need basically 14 days worth of clothing and outfits. So that's a little bit of a challenge, but I know a lot of people told me that you're dealing with the same thing and you'd like to see videos on packing for longer cruises. So that will be coming up. If you have any suggestions, things that you'd like to know regarding packing, please do let me know down in the comments below. Now I can't only share negative or bad news. I have to share the good news because sometimes it happens in cruising. Well, what happened was we started to notice that the price after final payment just recently, well, the price started to decrease for the cruise. Of course, my cruise was paid in full. There was nothing that I could do. However, we were able to get upgraded to a Vista suite. So this is going to be the first time that we are in a Vista suite from a regular balcony cabin. We are going to be three people. So Ethan is going to be on this cruise as well. So I think that that extra space is really going to be welcome. And while I'm not paying full price for this suite, uh, so it's definitely worth it for me. In this case, I'm gonna be able to say, do I think that booking this suite, had I booked it at the regular price, is worth it. Now, by the way, if you are going on this cruise and you see me on board, please do say hello. I'm always happy to say hi and chat. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know if you've sailed on Norwegian Cruise Line or if you're planning to, and if you've sailed on Holland America, and if you are planning to. And I hope to see you over in our Norwegian Pearl video on Friday. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.